Hi, I'm Wilkes, and this is the Magpie, an open source Core XY, mostly printed 3D printer that I designed, and I think you should build one. Here's why. 3D printers make people free because they make people more self-sufficient. If something breaks, you can fix it. If you've got an idea, you can make it. And if you want to learn to make something new for the first time, the barrier to entry has never been lower. Nope. And while the price to buy a 3D printer has gone down over the years, it seems as though the price to build one has only gone up. And if you're not interested in building a printer, that's fine. I'm not going to get into why you're wrong, but if you are into building a printer, stick around, because I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff at you real rapid fire. The Magpie is printable on anything with a bed the size of a Prusa Mini or larger. Absolutely no supports are required to print a Magpie. You can use any X1 Carbon or P1P hotend, and I chose this hotend because even official ones are extremely cheap. I've personally tested to make sure that all of these clone hotends work, including premium ones like this Revo hotend. The entire printer is designed to be printable out of ABS or PETG, and I've personally verified that both work well. The Magpie is designed to be enclosable if you want to. You just need to print a few parts and laser cut some acrylic. The Magpie prints ABS like a champ when enclosed, and I've even had a little bit of fun lately with printing nylon. The Z probe is a Prusa Super Pendo or a clone, and it just threads straight into the front cover. The entire Z axis is driven by a single motor with a one meter closed loop belt because it's cheap but extremely reliable. You can use an Ender 3 bed or any other bed slinger bed if you just drill a few holes. BYOB, bring your own bed. You can use bed screws if you want, but I don't even bother with the bed springs because the probe just takes care of everything. Despite the printed nature of the frame, it's more rigid than you'd think. It's not as stiff as metal, but when you build the frame this thick, it doesn't really need to be. The frame parts are all keyed, so you can't accidentally put them together incorrectly during assembly. You can build a Magpie for $200 to $250 if you get scrappy and buy dead Ender 3s on Facebook Marketplace. The Magpie project's really only a little over a year old, and in that time we've come leaps and bounds. When I went to 3D Printopia 2024, I showed up with a barely working printer and had to ask for a table. Fast forward to now, and we've got a printer that's spending more of its time printing than it is being worked on, and a small but dedicated community actively making CAD contributions and mods. And therein lies, I think, the thing that's so special about the Magpie. It's not the fastest printer. It doesn't have the highest print quality yet and you know its community is small right now but you can build it with what you got laying around and it, that community is only going to grow and that's why i really want you to care about this because what makes this special is going to be you not me not the printer itself it's the community i really want to foster a community of people that think wow printers are great Let's make them cheaper and let's make them good. And that's the magpie. Thank you for watching the video. You can like or subscribe, or don't. Really what I need for you to do is get involved in the community. Get in the GitHub. Get in the Discord. Follow us on Blue Sky. Let's get a team going. Let's make it a team effort. Let's make printers available for everybody. Scan that QR code. Click that QR code. I'm gonna keep yapping until it goes away. Build a printer. Get in my Discord. Come on, we miss you. Don't wait. Don't wait to scan it. Don't wait to click it. There's no penalty for waiting. I wouldn't do that to you, but don't do it. Hello. Me Wilkes, wordy talk to you, talky word a minute about printer. My printer, me, mag, my, magpie printer, me, print, me design. Strong brain. Strongest brain.